ಗಣಪತಿ ಗುಂ ಹವಾಮಹೆ ಕಪಿಂ ಕವಿ ನಾವಸ್ತ್ರವಸ್ತಮ ಜಯಸ್ಥರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪದ ಆನಸೃಣ್ವನ್ನು ತವಿಸೈದ ಸಾಧನ ಓಂ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಣೋದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವಾಜೇಭೈರ್ವಾಜಿನೀಪತಿ ಧೀನಾಮವತ್ರೇವತು ಓಂ ಮಹಾ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯೇ ನಮಃ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃಚ್ಚೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓಂ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಆದಿಶಂಕರ ಸಮಾರಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರು ಪರಿ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಹರಿ ಹೇ ಓಂ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ 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 ಯೋ ವದೇತ್ ತಸ್ಸನ್ ಸರತೆ ವಾಣಿ ಜಗುನ್ ಕನ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರವಾಹವತ್ ಹರಿ ಹೇ ಓ ಅದ್ಯ ನೂತನ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ಸುಭಕೃತು ನಾಮ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ನೂತನ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ದಿನವಸ್ತಿ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ತಿಥಿ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ವ್ಯಾಹರಾಮಿ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಸುಭಕೃತು ನಾಮ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ಉಗಾದಿ ನೂತನ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ಶುಭಾಶಯ ವ್ಯಾಹರಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಯಮಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಶುಭಂ ಭೂ ಇ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಯಾಮಿ ಇದಿ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ವಿಷಯ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸಮಿತಿ ವಿಷಯ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಉಕ್ತ ತದನಂತರ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಆರಂಭ ಕೂರ್ಮ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸಮಿತಿ ದಶ ದಿನ ದಶ ವರ್ಷ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಪರಿವೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪರಿರಕ್ಷಣ ಆಗಾಮಿ ಪೀಡಿ ಪೀಡ ಯುವತ ಯುವತ ಯುವತಾನ ಕೃತ್ಯ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ವಿಷಯ ಪರಿಚಯ ಎತಾನಿ ವಿಷಯ ನೀತ್ವ ದಶ ದಿನಾನಿ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ದಶ ವರ್ಷಾನಿ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಎತಾನಿ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯಾ ವಯ ಕೂರ್ಮ ದ್ವೆ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ ಕೃತವಂತ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಮಲ್ಹೋತ್ರ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ಕೂರ್ವಂತ ಪ್ರೇಮಳ್ಳ ಅವಧಾನಿ ಮೌರ್ಯ ಮಹೋದಯ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೂರ್ಚಾರ ಇಷ ಗತವರ್ಷ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಪ್ರತಿ ಸಪ್ತಾಹ ಅಂತೆ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ದ್ವಾರ ಸನಾತನ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ಕೂರ್ವಂತ ಚರಿತ್ರ ವರ್ಷ ಚರಿತ್ರ ವಿಷಯ ವಿಷಯ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ವಿಷಯ ನ್ಯೂ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ವಿಷಯ ಅಸ್ಮಕ ಹಿಂದೂ ಸಮಾಜ ಏಕತಾ ವಿಷಯ ಗೀತಾ ವಿಷಯ ಪರಿತರ ಬಹವ ವಿಷಯ ನೀತ್ ಅಸ್ಮಕ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಅಸ್ತಿ ವತವರ್ಷ ಜುಲೈ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಎತತ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ನೀತ್ ಪ್ರಯಾಸ ಕೂರ್ಮ ಗತ ಜುಲೈ ಮಾಸೆ ಅಸ್ಮಕ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹೋದಯ ಏಕ ಸೂಚನಾತವಾನ್ ತತ್ ಮಾತ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಷಯ 
संस्कृत वांगमय के के मूल सूत्रा सी एता विषय नीत्वा व्यासा आवाहन कुरम आवाहन कृतवंत जुलाई मसे कृतवंत गत वर्ष जुलाई मसे कृतवंत तदर्यतम इधानी पर्यत व पंचाशत व्यासा प्राप्तवत व्यासा अद्य आरंभ कृवा प्रचार कुर प्रति रविवासरे त्रीनी चारी पंच षट तथा अवकाश मिलवा तथा प्रकाश कुरत सर्वे आह्वान व्याहरामी सर्वे आगछ ये कार्यक्रम विजय प्रदान करोतु प्रार्थयाषे बहव जना महापुरषा ते सर्वे अहम शिसा प्रणम्य नमस्कार व्याहरा अस्माक कार्यवर्गण बहव सहाय कमी अहम नमस्कार करोमी सर्वे स्वागत करोमी पुनः शुभकृतनाम संवत्सरा शुभाशया सर्वे भगवान् प्राथना कृवा इदानी अहम आह्वयामी अद सवेश बहव महापुरषा आगतवत ते सर्वे प्रणम्य आह्वान व्याहरा अस्माक मध्ये स्वामी सद्विज्ञानंद महोदय महोदया अस्त आम आह्वान आह्वान करोमी नमस्कार करोमी नमस्ते स्वामी सद्विजानंद महोदय प्रणम्य अहम अभ्यर्थना करोमी वेदाशीर्वाचन दत्वा कार्यक्रम आरंभ करोतु इति अभ्यर्थना करोमी किंच सूचना अभी कार्यक्रम कृपया दशवादने प्रथम कार्यक्रम प्रथम प्रसंग दशवादने आरंभ होति तदनतर द्वितीय द्वितीय प्रसंग तृतीय व्यास एकादशवादने तृतीय व्यास द्वादशवादने तदव प्रथम प्रथम प्रसंग तदनतर किमी सन्देह सी चेत सन्देह विवरण सन्देह प्रसंग विषय कुरम तदनतर उपसंहार उपसंहारा द्वितीय का द्वितीय व्यास आरंभ होती तथा एक कार्य कुरम बहुत सर्वे सहाय व्याहरा इधानी अहम महोदय प्राथया आशीर्वाचन वेदाशीर्वाचन ददा प्राथया इंद्रो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायु वायुमे प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी मे प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या युद वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवतु मवत वक्तार शाशाशाति ओ सह नवत सह नुनक् सह वीजंतरवाहरे तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशाशा
we are very fortunate to have such programs where we can bring out our culture in proper way. Proper way. I went through all the articles and I'm really happy that uh, I got the chance to read all of them. And uh, many more will come like this. Now the more important thing is that how we can apply this knowledge into our regular curriculum, whether it is in the school or in the colleges, but how we can apply this knowledge as an authentic curriculum of the schools and colleges. So we can have one meeting for that also, that how we can put it to the government for the part of the curriculum, not as a, see now also the people think the Vidya, like whatever Arjuna did, it's all mysticism. We think it is a mystic, it is not a mysticism. It is a part of our life. It is a reality, it's a knowledge. And so I'm happy that, uh, the way the Samiti is working hard for this and I'm praying Bhagwan to keep working like this for many more years come to, to come and let us start the program home. <laughs> Bhavataha Asirvadam Sahayam Nitva. Danim Pradhama Prasangamasti Hello, sir. Are we audible there, sir? No, uh, audible. Ah, today, sir, my bumpy chair. Ah, ah. Children, my male children. Male bumpy chair. Oh, no, no. Oh. Okay. Because the length of the chair, you have male only village. Okay. Have you received, sir? Yeah, trying to. What you have sent? You have sent your resume or you have sent your paper? The paper, sir. No, I wanted resume, not paper. We shall introduce ourselves, sir, so that the time will be saved. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah. So, I'm Ahayami, Achiri
थैंक यू सर हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम सदस्यो Kibi Rao Garu for his uh, editing our paper. Disclaimers are usual. That is, if any mistakes are still left, responsibility is ours. <clears throat> the topic is climatic amelioration in Rig Veda, a scientific view. Climate amelioration also. is uh, possible but climatic we use it because climatic is adjective a scientific view used in sense since this is composed in english language westerners always say our vedas are a part of mythology we argue here in this paper itself <coughs> this is not a mythology and the sense is a part of this so this is more than a science so there is no question of putting it under mythology that's why we added a scientific view if anybody finds that something unscientific here please we are here to reply now at the outset the problem is very simple but the solutions are much complicated we act nature reacts we suffer nature ameliorates here we means human race and the human race survives they can see the number one and not face of climatic change along with the environmental pollution posing an existential threat to humanity is a horrible and burning problem in the present day world and more so in india water air and noise pollution caused mainly by deforestation the soil siltation automobiles use of fossil fuels plastics and the insanitation are threatening the very survival of the human race unless appropriate steps are initiated immediately the crisis is likely to augment and may erase the entire human civilization on earth the truth is regarded uh, <coughs> recognized by the uno and other international organizations presently <coughs> the average temperature of the earth that is our globe had had increased by about 1.1 degrees celsius over that of the pre industrial level that is industrial revolution started in 1750 if this is unchecked it may rise up to 2.4 or even more degrees celsius by the turn of this century followed by unimaginable horrors the un war wants to arrest this trend maximum at 1.5 degrees celsius by the mid 21st century that is <coughs> 2050 but climate scientists expect it to rise even up to 1.8 degrees celsius by this <coughs> mid century in spite of all the presently contemplated ameliorating measures this impending crisis formed the main agenda of many meetings workshops and conferences starting with the early years of this century after the tardy progress 
of the resolutions of the Paris Climatic Conference of 2015, that is COP21. <laughs> it is now the turn of the COP26, just concluded in Glasgow, 1 12 November 2021. To stop the further overheating of the climate to life threatening levels. Here <laughs> you can see the end of number. Various measures are suggested by the climate experts, environmentalists, scientists, politicians, economists, and other participants who recognize the terrible trends of the impending climatic changes. What is the role of the climate on Earth? It is significant for human life, which is closely connected to the biosphere. Sound, air, fire, water, soil, plants, and animals provide the necessary and sufficient condition for sustaining a healthy human life on this earth. Climate indicates <coughs> the weather conditions of a given geographical, all these definitions I think uh, I did not uh, read. See, uh, end notes four and five are uh, these uh, greenhouse gases and non-greenhouse gases as well. Then I go to the, uh, this is a problem, simply put. And then I go to the ancient Indian literature, starting with uh, the Sanskrit, because it is a, a people say universal language nowadays. Sanskrit is the largest repository of the Indian civilization, culture, and Sanatan Dharma. See, <coughs> footnote uh, end note number eight. It's a classical language, it's a highly developed logical structure and the most comprehensive grammatical base with a copious formation of words, see Ponini, uh, end note nine. Uh, uh, it may be relevant if I say, uh, uh, Ponini mentions a, a number of uh, grammar uh, tests uh, which had been there uh, when he was the professor in the uh, textual university, but uh, many of them are not uh, available uh, uh, to us. Only one which I could uh, gather after some of my trial in uh, <clears throat> many places in India is Sagatayana. So, of course, the virtue of Sagatayana is Sagatayana develops uh, all the letters uh, from a uh, single uh, sound that is O. Of course, Sanskrit Spanish may explain better than this. Uh, <clears throat> it has uh, got uh, some 2000 to 2500 uh, direct roots and indirect roots. I mean, uh, <coughs> taking all other uh, 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 solutions, maybe more than 30,000 even, people say. It is the mother of many Indo-European languages, as uh, I mean, uh, uh, listed by Europeans, mainly the Lithuanian. It seems Lithuanian is uh, one of the oldest languages of Europe. With the best philology, Sanskrit is more exact than Greek and more copious than Latin. This was... Uh, I mean, uh, said by Jones W, who is the founder of the uh, Asian uh, uh, Society, etc. And the one uh, wonderful book I saw is by Pingala. It is Chandra Shastra. It is um, in modern terms, it is a acoustics or, uh, I mean, uh, sound engineer, sound technology. Oh, as uh, I mean, I shall come to it uh, when I come to the weather uh, because. Uh, uh, I mean, sound technology is a large uh, uh, area where uh, nowadays uh, engineering uh, courses are being taught. He has comprehended science and technology of sound. Science is the most, I mean, convenient uh, computer trick store of vast moral knowledge dealing with various uh, disciplines. Because I say a few words about Panini. Panini has developed for the first time in ancient India, I mean, in the textual university, binary systems. I think Sanskrit Pandits will know, but I just mentioned. These are the 14 Sutras. That is, I mean, uh, the Sanskrit people explain. But what I here say, the binary system, uh, if we say all, all the letters are covered. I won. If we say uh, these uh, letters are covered, Ath, 
all this uh, binary is uh, for, you know, for the first time, as we know, by uh, Panini. And of course, those who are uh, uh, conversant with this test, uh, Asta Jaya, with uh, eight Ajayas, with, uh, I mean, uh, the simplest possible explanation that is Adhikar Sutra, etc., I mean, I'm not going to tell. Uh, after Panini, I mean, uh, because that's uh, uh, somewhat difficult, all the sutras are there. Mahavashya took a risk to explain it. Mahavashya of Patanjali, but it's also, I mean, uh, uh, inception as a site. Next, there came Kaska, that is in AD, that is sixth or seventh century. Kaska came, Kaska explains the commentaries to some extent. And uh, I mean, if I uh, go on uprising, it is uh, finally based uh, of Sanskrit. Uh, it will not uh, end here. Let us leave it to the uh, grammarians and philologists of Sanskrit. And next, uh, uh, the, we uh, list only the main literature of Sanskrit as uh, Vedas, uh, Puranas, uh, Shastras, Matakas, Kavyas, etc. Vedas, coming to Vedas, there are four types. Samhitas, Arenikas, Brahmanas, and the Uttar Mamansa are uh, the Upanishads. We don't enter into all those uh, details, but we directly go to the Vedas, uh, Samhitas. Samhitas are four in number. Who gauges some other one? Uh -huh. We leave the other three and we concentrate on uh, only uh, Rugveda. Uh, okay, here uh, reference are given. <coughs> One of uh, Swami uh, recently has published in uh, 2003 about uh, the details of the Vedas. And also uh, here are appendix, appendices are attached. So if one is interested, one can go through the appendices. Of course, they are in most in Telugu script. <coughs> they are collected from our family papers. And uh, <coughs> there are some uses. Uh, I mean, uses, all uses are classified into four types. It is also there in uh, the appendix. If time permits, I shall again explain all those things. Now we shall <coughs> come to uh, Rig Veda. Rig Veda is the oldest and the root of all the others. It is composed into 10 mandalas of unequal length, uh, consisting of 1028 suktas. And also there are class are there, some poly class are there, some 20 class are there. Uh, taking class one, you can go one far and above also. Uh, <clears throat> again, uh, you can see the footnote or the endnote. Uh, the forms and attributes of Vedic gods, which are about 150 in Rig Veda, uh, they represent mostly natural forces. Uh, there are disputes, there may be more than 150 also, because single gods are there in Sukhas and multiple gods also are there. Or uh, taking the example of uh, this. Uh, Marut, people say Marut is one god. People say again Marut is seven gods, nine gods, nine into seven, six, three are uh, other uh, the more number also. Uh, they are the, I mean, uh, <coughs> soldiers of Indra. Uh, and uh, there are some controversies, uh, whether it is home and how one from or one or not, all these are uh, raising controversies, which we don't uh, enter. Uh, among all these gods, 18 are prominent. This is uh, there in uh, 10th mandala, 65 sukta, uh, first mantra. Rigveda, uh, uh, I mean, uh, was uh, composed by about 400 uh, rishis. Uh, the first mandala and the last mandala, they look alike. Uh, their suktas are about 190. In some editions, uh, they are more than 190, 191, 192, up to 193 also are there. They may be including class. <clears throat> and uh, the other uh, eight mandalas are called Rishi mandalas because they are composed by the lineage of Rishis, Tushu himself. Second is Guru Samadha. Third is Yuswamitra, the Athra for uh, Gayatri Mantra. Fourth is Vamana. Fifth is Atri. Uh, <clears throat> sister uh, Bharadwaja, seven uh, Vasista, eight Angirasa and his, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 
in Gotikas. Uh, mine is Kasifa uh, and is a Gotra people. He is a <coughs> famous sir. We have been a resident of Kashmir. This again is a beautiful uh, fact which was uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> disputed by historians. Uh, and uh, uh, how many uh, uh, suttas uh, actually existed and how many uh, class and how many disappeared is again a dispute because the Veda Sakas, uh, uh, people say by Patanjali time were 1131. Nowadays, we don't get too many Sakas. So for the Veda Sakal Saka is the only Saka available to us. And I went and searched in uh, many places in India, including the uh, many, many places I saw, but I could not get uh, much. Uh, only one Saka, Saka Saka is uh, taken as the uh, basis of uh, Rigveda. So what I am going to present, it refers to the numbers of Saka Saka. The first is Mandala, second is Sukta, third is uh, Mantra. This is the reference uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is all of the introduction. Now we enter into the main topic that is climatic change. <laughs> climatic changes herald the seasonal uh, uh, cycles. There had been many methods in the Rigveda to moderate the climatic vagaries. <clears throat> they were amenable to be controlled by appropriate human actions called Aharvidas. Is there in a uh, first mandala, uh, two point two two, uh, the second sutta, and uh, second mantra. This is the Rahar Vidas. Vedic says regarded the nature with its environment as a holistic uh, manner and reward each of its constraints and entities by carefully preserving them. Vedic prayers invoke the powerful divine blessings and timely intervention. Uh, to help blissful living in a <clears throat> protected environment with plenty of rains catering to the needs of the flora and fauna and have to including human beings. <clears throat> uh, environment would be blissful to the people leading their life perfectly, rivers blesses with uh, plenty of uh, sacred water and providers health. See, uh, and not 23, for all these uh, details. Uh, this is there in uh, uh, 190, uh, first Mandala, 90 uh, Sukta. Uh, and also 8th Mandala, first Sukta, 13th Mantra about forests. <coughs> Ekalaj also is there. By the way, he cows and uh, uh, cows are called Benedictory cows or holy cows, C24 and not. And review the concepts of creation. Uh, that is now we call it as the Purush Sukta. And also the existence of non existence. That is also 129. That is, uh, we call it 10th uh, uh, Manda 129, Nasadi Sukta. Uh, that is, Na Asato Asit, uh, etc., uh, uh, which is there the creation of uh, existence of non existence. It's very difficult to comprehend. But recently, the Westerners are researching on this. I have got some books on this Nasandhya Sutta. Natural divinity is manifested in the form of gods, each of whom presided over a particular natural force. This is there in uh, 26 footnote uh, and not Each of the prominent Rigvedic gods is associated in one way or other with the environment and climate, among many other benefits. See uh, Sixth Mandala, 21. Agni and Indra pervade all through the Rigveda. See appendix, uh, appendices 11 to 15. They are the saviors, Sarvavyapi, and protectors, Sarvaspati, respectively, of biosphere and mankind acting through their uh, numerous and magnificent manifestations. Agni had manifested in about 4,000 forms. See Mandala 5. Indra, the, 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 I shall, uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> for your uh, uh, information, just I, one minute, I recite this uh, first mantra, where uh, 
uh, again manifested in 20 to 25 pounds. Again, we lay Guru with them again, they want to present water around the Nagatamagi, he put away, he received it. You know, Miratasa, they were going to my watch a day. I did not even sound the portion of the way they were some here about the Magna, not friends of the very who were since I gave a show with the Agni, what I gave to the person to have some ha. They were the way we are going to the Angadar State of Magna, but the interest is said there was such a hungry house to Agni, the way they were those who studied the way you know. Currently, you see Rajan to run and go on to city or the one on Sweden, the son of Pete was one of Agnes who buy no more, such as one has was the eight, was the eight. This is the climatic reference. Climax of the climatic reference. Oh, I mean, there are about uh, 200 uh, full single god sutras about Agni. There are about 250 full single god sutras about Indra. And uh, Indra and Agni combine with many other gods. Uh, such suktas are there uh, more than 100 each. So Agni and Indra combined occupy uh, more than half of the Rigveda of the 1028 uh, suktas. Uh, I mean, the details are given in my uh, appendices. Those who are interested can go through the appendices. Uh, and the number of gods also is distributable, as I already said. Uh, <clears throat> there are um, each god has a function. I have given only some ten gods. There are as many functions or natural forces uh, uh, as the number of gods. With uh, each god has a detailed function. When we appreciate them, they will. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> give all those varas uh, 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 or blessings for us. Uh, safety, purity, and protection of air and water. Sources are dealt at length in hymns, <coughs> beginning with the fire or agni. Vayu and vata are the holes used to indicate air and wind and atmosphere in the Gveda. The Gveda starts with agni, as I already <coughs> recited that uh, sutta in the first, followed by vayu in the uh, second. Uh, the second sutta also is uh, chanted uh, in the starting of photosynthesis. Second sutta is uh, like this. Why why I hid the sutta? Me so mar and gruda hate sham pahi sudi haum. Why okay, we didn't take how much as the guitar hand. So ma her with the hand. Like that, I mean, it has got uh, uh, all the mantras uh, connected to photosynthesis and our photosynthesis comes as well. Spend something more. Now you see the statement on God's and the relative functions. <coughs> Agni is Bahu uh, Karmakari, that is, uh, it uh, does many karmas in English all rounder. And Ashwins, Ojaspati, are Ojaspata because Ashwins are two. They are in charge of health. And Indra is uh, Soma Bhimani. Soma Bhimani, he causes uh, photosynthesis. This photosynthesis is a, I mean, uh, <coughs> disputed. Uh, 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 idea because uh, as I inquired in many places, including Banaras and Banarkar, uh, this uh, soma is not an alcohol acid, in terms of mission protection by many people. Uh, there is one reason for this mission protection also. As all of you know, the swastik was, uh, I mean, misused by the Jomans. Uh, Max Muller, he hated the Rigveda, as all of you know. Uh, he never used it in India. He didn't know anything about India. Only thing is, whatever they looted by the East India Company to and deposited in London. He was clever enough to go through all those things and select it with the other and it. And Germans, uh, uh, I should not say, but uh, I have to say here, they decided our Romans were just in the fourth or five century AD. That's why they are known in the uh, London Bazaars or in the UK as barbarians. So in order to I mean, uh, uh, take that barbarian thing out, they uh, try to identify themselves with Sanskrit. And they took this symbol of swastik. And as all of you know, Hitler's party used this as a symbol both in first war and second war. So uh, they spoiled the new of uh, this uh, swastik, uh, which represents our culture. Of course, all the pundits will you know better than what I know. And historians also will tell us if Germans did that uh, thing. And Marut, Marut Vijutpati. Vijutpati means uh, he produces electricity and lightning. And next to Mitra. Mitra is a Jana of human. Mitra helps us to stand, to walk, to move, to do daily works. The moon. 
Muni stones, but he, he, he deposits uh, soma in plants, especially during the nights. And this uh, soma will be uh, I mean, absorbed or will be drunk, if I may use that word, uh, uh, by Indra. Uh, here, uh, I mean, uh, and is there Posha? Posha is Ruddhi or growth. Savita, Savita is there, uh, Sushispati, Ozone, O3, Oruna is there, Oruna Rajahimani, Empire. And Vishnu, Vishnu, uh, uh, Sarvayapi, uh, Vapli of Vishnu, this is. Here, uh, uh, I have to say a few words, time permits, <coughs> about this uh, uh, Vishnu. Uh, there is a dispute whether Vishnu has got uh, something to do with uh, oxygen. This is going on in Western circles. Uh, because Vapri at Vishnu and Vishnu is a, a Rakshaka, he I mean, uh, takes care of all the human beings. Whereas Brahma is a creator, uh, Brahma is not worshipped, Vishnu is worshipped because our development, all these things uh, depend upon the uh, God, uh, the Vishnu only. If Brahma creates and uh, nobody worships Brahma, it seems. Uh, anyway, these uh, uh, things. Uh, <coughs> So, I mean, uh, if uh, time permits afterwards, I shall go through them. There are about 10 full sukhas describing Vayu. It is dealt with uh, purely uh, in some sukhas, uh, partial in some sukhas, while in many places it combines with other gods. Combination is found uh, mostly with Indra, whose army can succeed to the Marus. Of course, the, the Marus is uh, again uh, their uh, friend in the Rigveda, uh, see the end notes. And uh, Vayu is the first cleaner of the dusty, dirty, and polluted uh, climate. Uh, he combines, Vayu combines with the sun rays. Vayu helps in conducting photosynthesis activities on plants. Uh, the sun rays that help in this process are called uh, Neutas. The uh, word is there in uh, 1134. And 135, C footnote 31, or uh, <coughs> not 31, for the details. Sun rays, seven plus two. There is also a doubtful in astrology, astronomy, uh, in all these fields. How many sun rays are there? Saptato Hardo Radevanti Dev Surya, Shoshit Kesamitation. That is seven. Uh, two ultraviolet rays also are mentioned in uh, uh, Rigveda. And some people look at Vedic Pandits, so in Banaras, I heard uh, seven plus two plus two. That is nine days or uh, eleven days are there. Oh, uh, I mean, I am not uh, such an expert to uh, uh, all these things. Uh, see the, um, the one fifty. That is in the first mandala, uh, fifty sutra. Uh, <clears throat> that is uh, uh, the, the Vedic people knew that earth was rounding itself and surrounding the rounding the. I mean, uh, around the sun also. That's why I said the Udutyam, the Asa Veda Sam Devam, Vahan the Geta Vaha, Drusha Yusra Yusra Yusra. But the Thai Vaha is the Nakshatra and Thakti Bhi, Sura Yusra Sikshra. Atrishna Maisha Geta Vaha, Virasma Yusra, Janaka Manu, Prajanta Agni Veda. Thakni Rishu Darsha, Roshi Prasuri, Vishma Avasa Vashna. That's why Devana Vishya, that's why Udesh Mahasam, that's why Vishwam Sadrusha, etc. etc. I give you a time is there, if you are shot. So what this, I mean, all these things imply, the Vayu, the, the sun uh, uh, and Vishnu, all these, uh, these are main gods uh, uh, that help the uh, Egna. Now coming to Egnas, oh, Egnas had got, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I skip off all these uh, functions of the wind, uh, the water, rivers, etc. because of the lack of, uh, I mean, uh, time. Afterwards, uh, if anybody wants, I shall explain all these things. <clears throat> now, uh, I shall put a, a few words about green ray. Green is a natural uh, <coughs> cleansing agent by ab absorbing the CO2, that is carbon dioxide. Uh, I wrote a book on which uh, I mean, uh, uh, recently published by Netflix. Plants and trees, so uh, what are their functions and how the gods uh, help plants and trees, all are there in this. Uh, I mean, references in the you know, 11th point, 11th para, mostly they are there in uh, 10th uh, mandala, 135, uh, etc. Uh, first mandala, 164 sutta, second mandala, 14th sutta, 
all these references are here. Okay, okay, okay. Need not uh, enter into okay, the no, no, no. Uh, details. I shall come directly okay. to the Egna. Egnas uh, are not mythical because they thought these are mythical uh, by Westerners because they were not uh, fully informed. Egnas are scientific, recently proved by Westerners also. Egnas have got uh, mainly three functions vis a vis climatic uh, conditions. So that is, first function is they don't. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, allow the uh, poisonous gases to enter into the Ignis Sala or the arena around Ignis. Uh, next one is, if there are poisonous gases, they convert them into healthy gases. Uh, the uh, third one is, they always uh, help to <coughs> clean the climate to a level which is healthy for the biological uh, sphere, that is uh, to be, I mean, uh, for the respiration of human beings and other uh, biological uh, beings on this earth. <clears throat> there are so many types of ignorance depending upon the seasons, upon the purpose, upon the extent, that is scale, upon the, I mean, uh, the uh, number of uh, things which we can uh, sacrifice, that is swaha. Uh, I mean, Ignace itself is a large uh, topic, uh, which uh, I don't want to spend uh, the time. Those who are interested can directly go to the Rig Veda after uh, going through this uh, end notes here. Now, I shall come to the <coughs> some of the results. The results are around the <coughs> Ignace around the rivers, particularly the rivers, Saraswati, Sindhu, Ganges are mentioned here. Uh, Ganges and Sindhu are there at present. <clears throat> Some Sweta river is there, which is a branch of uh, uh, Sindhu. Now it is there in, uh, it is in Afghanistan, because our Takshala University is there now in Pakistan. Uh, Ganges is there everywhere. No, Saraswati is not there. Saraswati is often prized. Mahavarna or Saraswati, Etc. Uh, it is a very deep river, etc. It is prized. But recently, the uh, geologists and scientists have found the existence of Saraswati. It disappeared uh, somewhere in 2000 or 3000 BC due to some, I mean, uh, tremors or earthquakes, whatever that is. Uh, uh, I don't want to enter into that uh, disputable area. Saraswati had been there as a river. And even though that Allahabad, uh, the Pandas uh, give the mantras uh, about Saraswati, even though it is not seen as uh, Saraswati is included in their mantras. <coughs> the, the, um, <coughs> other results are numerous. That is, uh, the results of the Ignas are numerous. Uh, other gods prayed are Pajanya, that is uh, 5th Mandala, 83rd Sukta, Usha, Rudra, Varuna, and other gods. Each god is, I mean, beneficial in sense, they are in charge of some natural force which is related to our human beings, health, happiness, and wealth. And they bestow all those, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, good things on us when we perform it uh, a constant mantra, uh, a good egna. According uh, to the rules. Shall we conclude? Ready, sir? Yes, sir, sir. So, one minute, sir. To conclude, the Vedic seers were fully aware of that environmental conditions, their environmental conditions. They thought that it was their duty to protect and improve them to a desired level for the well being of the people on this planet. Their vision to live in harmony with the environment, the climate constraint in the form of prayers to the gods frequently by the Ignas is exhibited in many of the uh, 1028 uh, <coughs> suttas of the The average life of the healthy human beings in such a climate was estimated at 100 years. That is 7th Mandala 66 sutta. Jivyam Sarvasatam, Tasyam Sarvasatam, Nandam Sarvasatam, etc. Is there in 10th uh, Mandala also 161? Each organ of a person is protected from disease by a specific God, 
there can one lawns is to suit the CC for mantra. For example, sun protects our eyes, can't one lawn to take a sutta, and moon the mind, can't one lawn in get a sutta called the mantra. They prayed for non polluting myself, all the mantras, healthy air, ambassador fire, pure water, and fertile soils, full of green vegetation and forests and tall and green trees. They advised the humans <coughs> not to injure the environment and especially in the atmosphere with its delicate climatic balance, we and certain prescribed and safe levels. This is only a brief analysis. <coughs> the varied actions of Indra and Agni, as well as the other gods, numerous combinations in checking the natural horrors, including climatic vagaries, floods, earthquakes, etc., so as to safeguard the human life on Earth, await further research and dreadful uh, details. Such. <coughs> it is Sham Shubham who asked. Thanks, everyone, sir. Thanks. Dhanyavadha. Dhanyavadha, excellent speech given by you. Thank you very much for giving a lot of information on Rugveda. Uh, it is in, in short, the Panchabhutas are, are, uh, are responsible for our, the atmosphere and its existence and its uh, uh, clean presence are uh, at least in a responsibility of every one of us to protect it. Yes. Now, I request if anybody is having questions or any senior person would like to view his views, welcome. Swagatam. Please. Yeah. Yes, we are hearing. Uh -uh. Oh. Uh, excellent, uh, Professor Garu. Uh, yes. uh, I don't want to say much about uh, my experience and all the things. You are an experienced elderly person to me. So I would like to add a little bit to this uh, topic. Please, be sir. Being a nuclear scientist as well as a computer person and a Vedic and a Purana person. Please. And, and direct descendant of the Sri Sri Ramarjo Jariya, Vashishta Dvaita. And we are all Swayamacharyas. From Tamil Nadu. Yes, so, what uh, you have said is excellent. Uh, the Thanks, binary system, being a computer person and artificial intelligence person, I would like to say that this binary yes, system, sir. what it is called, actually, in fact, in our uh, Vedic, which can be extrapolated as nothing but the duality. Sir. Okay, it is more impact on the more on his darshanas as well as Vedangas, where we interpret the Vedic sir. things. So this is a one more, literally all of you are aware, all our scholars, the Vedangas, when we go, yes, sir. it gives rise to the different aspects of the Veda. Yes. Upanishad gives a condensed formation. Yes. So when we go and Upanishad, uh, Mr. when you say the sub, sub Upanishads or something sir. like that, just Ayurveda and all those things, when we go sir. like that, this sir. application was the duality concept of the philosophy. Let it be, I don't want to be very particular, whether it is Advaita, Vashishta Advaita, Shivashya, yes. yes. Dvaita, anything what you call, always we say there is light and darkness. Yes. Whatever has got the start, it has to have an end. Yes. It's a cyclic yes. process. Even if you say Kala Chakra, it has to start with some reference plane at zero point and it has to come back to the zero after completing the one circle, which is called as one unit. Yes. Brahma, yes. Brahma Varsha or what? I don't want to Divya Varsha and all the things we calculate on the Kalagana. Yes, yes, sir. That point I shall explain after your question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it a little bit deviating. Yeah. I, I so, have got this point here also. Uh, uh, so these things, you know, this duality, we have put it in uh, Sanskrit or we can say in Veda. The how we conceive the things from the negligibility, or you can say minus infinity hmm. towards the infinity. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it, we call this one when minus infinity, new infinity, when you want to merge them, we call yes. it shunyam. And that yes, shunyam sir. is called as Brahma. Yes, sir. Yes, when sir. 
That's this is what uh, I have in many of my lectures, which I have given in uh, many forums <laughs> on science and technology and mathematics and all those things related to the Veda <laughs> and all that. I explained that this minus infinity is non-perceivable, plus infinity is also non-perceivable. <laughs> but when they merge it together, <laughs> actually they don't merge. There are two discrete points. There is nothing called as a point. Everything is just a circle only at a mi- <laughs> sub-microscopy level. So it becomes a zero. That zero shunyam we say. So this is what you have yes, uh, projected. Yes, sir. I have got okay. this point here. Okay. Let, 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 Edgar, let, let Edgar speak, please. Ah, okay. Please, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. <clears throat> I faced the Westerners so because while in Delhi, I used to argue with the Westerners uh-huh. on two points. That is, everything can be reduced to the minimum yes. space and time. Look. The Veda shows a way <clears throat> space and time are one. That is Advaita. Absolutely. That is Advaita. Oh, yeah, I mean, in my parlance, sir. Absolutely. Let, me, Broader. let me explain the procedure, sir. Mm-hmm. Two things are there. One point is that is a big circle. Purna Madaha, Purna Madam, Purna Madaha, Purna Madaha, Purna Madaha, Purna Madaha, Purna Madaha, Purna That is a big circle. Yes. I shall, uh, the, the, if for uh, one minute I shall make a small... Uh, shall we, shall we restrict to the top to the topic of uh, evaluation of the climatic uh, these things or uh, shall we go into the other uh, Siddhantas of Vedas? Just part of your topic, let us go ahead. If it is not part of your topic, let us skip it. Oh, well, no, no, I have mentioned it here, sir. Okay, sure. Brahma okay. is a big zero. Brahma okay. is a big zero. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, that is the uh, 360 degrees. First 90 degrees are not known. Second 90 degrees are, the, I mean, small insects to human beings. Third 90 degrees is all gods. Fourth 90 degrees is not known. So, 1990, 180 are not known to any human beings. The other 180 are uh, within the reach of human beings. That is that a degree explanation. I shall give one of the, I mean, before this serious talk is over one small joke. Sure, sure. Uh, all the uh, people on this planet uh, went to Brahma to get a good li- uh, lippy, that is, uh, I mean, uh, for their languages, script. And our uh, Telugu people at that time, uh, they were called Karnataka, etc., etc., also uh, uh, went there. But because of their quarrels, uh, they were the last batch to go to Brahma. And Brahma said, uh, there is no script available. All are given to the all others. You fools are coming uh, very late. Uh, no script with me. And these people did not leave Brahma. And they uh, uh, I mean, uh, used to make dharna there. Uh, Brahma. Then Brahma made a big zero. Then these guys thought very clever guys. Uh, they are three people. They are jumps uh, individually. But the team spirit, they don't have. So that's why they will be going on quarreling. You know, and these people who came to earth with that big zero, that is called what Brahman is script. This is an explanation of Brahman uh, in one verse uh, yeah. <laughs> somewhere. That's why I'm going to uh, Next, uh, I mean, uh, one of the people in uh, Banaras, uh, uh, the old uh, Acharya told me like this. If all the knowledge on this earth is tripartite, Satya, Dharma, and Nyaya. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vedic uh, places uh, in uh, mostly bottom. 90% Satya and 10% to Dharma. Dharma oh. means it is not the uh, religious Dharma, it is uh, Dharma means natural uh, 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 thing. So, uh, so the, uh, there is no Nyaya. Uh, the, uh, all the religions are there in the, in the I mean, uh, the Dharma uh, uh, spectrum. Other uh, the above spectrum, that is Satya, only uh, Vedas are there. Above uh, Vedas also may be there uh, in Satya. This is another uh, explanation. So that uh, zero has been uh, used uh, uh, in uh, uh, Vedic mathematics and many Vedic concepts. Uh, that is called Brahman or Brahma. Uh, I mean, of course, Pandits will uh, tell us. And uh, Mahodaya, I am taking you. Please. Uh, on, just okay. one second. So the time is up now. Let second? us uh, give another five minutes to another topics, other people. Anybody else is there who has got a question, real question is there for them on the topic? Sir, uh, this Anybody is uh, Ramohan. This is Ram Mohan here, sir. Yeah, please, please tell your uh, overview. Sir, uh, my question precisely is that we can understand to a fair extent uh, environment, nature, and Panchaputas. Hmm. Then my question is that how can we define and understand gods or goddesses as different from human beings? This is my very honest and sincere question out of the thirst 
of mind to know about this. Yeah. Nature we can understand. Air, yeah. vacuum, water, fire, all these things we can understand because we are able to see them. But Ram whatever Ram the, we attribute to gods and goddesses, how do we understand them? Ramon Mahabaya, Ramon Mahabaya, Mahabaya. Mahabaya. Ramon Mahabaya. Yeah. is that one, one of the uh, end notes? Uh, this is what I heard from the Kanji Paramacharya. It is like this. The uh, gods and goddesses are there like the government of India. Presided over by the, uh, I mean, uh, the Supreme God, uh, Brahma. And this concept is uh, uh, from the Manan Mishra uh, type of thing. Sankracharya Manan Mishra, that conversation is there. <coughs> what Sankara says, uh, as all of you know, Jagan Mijja Brahma Satcham. What the other uh, Manan Mishra, because he was a Buddhist, as all of you know, his uh, I mean, uh, wife was there to moderate. Moderate was his wife. Then Sankracharya won. So the God is, according to this Advaita philosophy, there is uh, no difference uh, between God and uh, the human beings. The Supreme God is one. <clears throat> that is what Rigveda says. Uh, and from there uh, the flows all these things from Brahma, because Prime Minister uh, the, the, down the Prime Minister, many others, uh, down them, many others, uh, few satinders, etc. Uh, they are all the other gods. In charge of all these things, uh, or ration, or etc. Uh, this is the explanation uh, offered when not by me, but uh, Kanji Paramacharya. Ramon, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, 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 okay. Any other question, please? Any other question? How can we understand the Supreme God, what you are saying? God and humans are same, but how can we understand the Supreme God? Yes, sir. One small explanation. Sir. This is also from Kanji Paramacharya, not from me. A person stands on the summit of the hill. He finds many people. <clears throat> many people. So, all these uh, the, uh, human beings, like the uh, bhakti, etc., uh, applying our karma, bhakti, etc., we have to reach jnana. So this is uh, from many to one. That is, jnana is one. Uh, the karma is many, and bhakti also is many. Whereas God, one to many. God is there only one. He finds all these many things. One to many is our uh, devotion, etc., human beings. Many to, I mean, one to many is God. Minute to one is human beings. This is the explanation uh, offered by Ken So, Glaxo, 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 uh, it takes us from known to unknown. So if we follow the Veda, God will be known. That is what my I request all the members. One second, one second. Give me a chance. I request all the members. The topic is the main topic of us now is science in Veda Vangmayam. Don't go yes, into sir. philosophy, please. Uh, yes, Don't sir. Go into philosophy. That is a risky area, sir. Yes, sir. See, we are, we are, we are. Our time is very limited. Very limited. We, are, we wanted to, we wanted to explore the possibilities of having the roots of science, modern science. I mean, yes, roots of modern science in Veda Vangmayam. Yes. That is our main. Topic. Yes. So I request the speakers as well as the uh, audience to concentrate on the topic: how to explore the roots that are there in Sanskritam. Which can be linked to a modern science now. Yes, exactly. Expose it to the public. That is the concentration. The the Advaita Siddhantam or Gait Siddhantam or the what God yeah, is there. Yeah, or risky, the, risky areas. This is being, being taught from thousands of years. It, hundreds of years it is being discussed. And maybe many scholars are there, many uh, people are there who can explain those things in various ways. Better, better sense. Certainly. It's not a platform for that. This platform for this very simple way that what are the root shokas that are available in Vedavangmayam, yes. which can reflect the modern science. This point is to be updated and up, up, to be brought out to the public. Yes. That is the target of Vesavangmayam. 
so let us concentrate on that to, uh, there are many writers also there in this uh, in this uh, platform i request all the writers and all this all the viewers also to concentrate on, on these topics how to explore the roots of science in the sanskritam vangmayam yes which is being covered and came out under their carpet now which is being kept under a carpet now so that is to be taken out and come bring it back bring it back to the textbook culture in the textbook more relevant, more relevant. Stage we brought, to bring that stage we have to expose all the vedamangmayam science in vedamangmayam yes so please things with this already we have crossed the time of 10 minutes now more than one hour so i request uh, uh, dr visha lakshmi ji to upasam to the upasamharam for this lecture and if any more doubts are there anything is to be shared with dr reddy garu you are always welcome to put your questions in the yes. group yes in the group and you are transmit to the welcome. dr reddy welcome so you welcome all questions sir Please, thanks is, thanks all of you sir thanks both of us thank you thank all of you sabhaye namaha pranamams to everybody today really we are very fortunate to have such a wonderful webinar the summary of so many papers which we have received on the call of our veda sanskruti samiti on the roots of modern science in veda vangmaya and science in the veda vedic uh, veda vangmaya and also sanskrit literature regarding this topic several uh, several papers have been received by veda sanskruti samiti and today is our first day of conducting such a webinar with uh, two or three topics now the first topic uh, received by uh, that is we are conducting now at present the first topic is the climatic amelioration in rigveda a scientific view by sri achiridi and srimati aruna jyotsna and sri achiridi garu did his topic explaining completely the roots of uh, atmosphere and the uh, weather which is prevailing on this earth and he explained in connection with this topic uh, the role of climate and earth weather conditions sound technology and everything he has shown the roots of Uh, such topics in vedas prem especially so many mandalas 10th mandala and other mandalas and he explained that the climate is the weather condition on earth which is uh, uh, that is which is consisting of the gods the panchabhutas pan the five gross elements which we consider as gods in fact the vedas speak about panchabhutas and so many other um, uh, so many other deities we call these panchabhutas as deities and besides them so many divine powers have been explained in vedas as the gods and goddesses which are very useful for the environment for human beings life and animals and everything living creatures so Uh, our present speaker spoke about the swastik the gods like agni agni mile purohitam he started with the agni mantra and he referred nasadi sukta he spoke about mitra varuna vayu sun god and about yagna specially yagnas contain the uh, in fact on yagnas the life depends we can say our human beings life or the entire uh, life on earth depends upon the yagnas which he has i uh, explained very nicely referring to the mantras from rigveda and others and also he spoke about the divine rivers on earth saraswati sindhu ganga etc rivers uh, because unless these rivers are giving us the pure water no living creature can survive he also spoke about parjanya rudra varuna etc all the gods environmental gods uh, which are for the well being of human beings and giving us full span of life as uh, blessed in the vedas jeeva ma sarada setam etc even those mantras he has referred so uh, today's topic is very nicely explain what topic he has chosen he did full justice 
to the topic giving uh, quotations uh, references from the that is original references he, he has given from the vedas and vedic mantras so uh, really we are very fortunate and afterwards the uh, dignitaries who has who have uh, just spoken enhanced given uh, rich points to this topic and also raised questions gave rise to the explanation of beautiful wonderful uh, advaita siddhanta and the dream of vedas so uh, by this i want to uh, stop for uh, uh, that is i want to stop presently about this topic and i thank sri achiridh garu for his excellent lecture and also i thank our veda samskruti samiti and sri akalla prepakar rao garu actually who has started this today's uh, this uh, webinar with prayer divine prayer and also i thank uh, sadvidyananda swamini ji for her blessings and veda mantras so i thank one and all i thank veda samskruti samiti for giving me such opportunity to give a వరుణ్ భరద్వాజ్ ఇస్ ఆల్రెడీ రెడీ విత్ విత్ హిస్ పేపర్ అండ్ హీస్ వెయిటింగ్ ఫర్ దైమ్ టైమ్ ఇస్ ఆల్రెడీ టెన్ మినిట్స్ టేకన్ ఇన్ దట్ లెవ్ ఇన్ దట్ అవర్ so i request uh, the organizer of the recording to stop this and start again the next uh, next recording